Good evening. Thank you for joining us on 2 News Oklahoma at 5. I'm Erin Christie. Tonight, our top story takes us to the Tulsa County Family Center for Juvenile Justice and new developments in that story. We've been pressing for answers, but received little to none. Now, a second former employee at the Tulsa County Juvenile Detention Facility is now accused of sex crimes. This comes as another employee is already behind bars and a civil lawsuit claims a pervasive child abuse problem that powers that be knew was going on. Here's a look at the newest developments and the repeated calls for an investigation. After former detention officer Jonathan Hines was charged with multiple sex crimes against children in April, a civil rights lawsuit was filed. It alleges 21 victims, multiple potential abusers, and widespread knowledge of a multitude of problems inside the Tulsa County Family Center for Juvenile Justice with no recourse. I looked into some of the claims in the civil lawsuit and asked the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office whether any of those players were under investigation. In May, I received the investigation report from September of 2023 on Dequan Doyle. The Tulsa DA got that report in the fall, and Doyle is now charged with sexual battery, indecent exposure, abetting minors in a drug crime, and possession of contraband in jail. According to the affidavit, Doyle was already on administrative leave on allegations of possessing contraband when a female inmate came forward, claiming Doyle touched her inappropriately, bought her weed, and let her use his phone. The report also alleges multiple residents got sick after Doyle gave them weed gummies hidden in a Bible. This month, the nonprofit Oklahoma Appleseed released a 300 plus page report into heinous allegations, citing open records requests. The group has called on DA Steve Kunzweiler to recuse himself from these cases because they say he was copied on letters about jail problems prior to any arrests. The group is also called calling on the facility to shut down for a complete investigation. The executive director has since stepped down. County commissioners and other people in charge will not comment on all of this, citing that pending litigation.